tell you that my life is like a movie, believe them because the things I've been through in this life, yo, oh my God. Sometimes I feel like it's so unfair for my age, the things that I've had to go through. Anyway, we thank God for the far that we've come. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Cooking Story Time. It's been a while since I did this and I am glad that I'm able to do this. The story that I'm about to share actually took me two years so that I can be able to come to terms with it and to be at a safe space where I can share the story with you guys because yo, people are so unfair out here. People are so inhuman, guys. Anyway, guys, let's get into the story. <laughs> I remember, kindly don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. So I was working in a supermarket, then my cousin sent me uh, a job application, told me, hey babes, try this out, you never know. Then I said, oh my god, it's in Narok, Masai Mara, let me give it a try. So it is a job application. Hey, you guys, I'm telling you, I have everything here. Hmm? It was saying as in how much the salary is going to be and all that and all that. Let me read it to you guys. A tourist resort in Masai Mara is looking for enthusiastic and friendly staff to be part of our opening team, staff accommodation and meals provided. You tell me. <laughs> for application details, go to mm, 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 mm. waiters 28,000, chef kitchen staff 31 to 38k, front desk staff reception is 32, blah blah blah. So mine was a reception because I've done public relations. So I'm really good with communication. So I applied at receptionist. That was 32,000 shillings. You tell me. I applied. Nani kama mimi. I'm telling you, if there's any worst position to be at is when you're really desperate for a job interview or for, when you're just desperate for a job. Mimi ni nani? Nika apply. Tell me why. Two days later, I get a confirmation later. I have these things for you. I'm going to read it to you. I get a confirmation later. Up there stated, Faith and Jockey. <coughs> Re offer of employment. We wish to inform you that following your application via email, you've been selected to join our new prestigious resort, Mara Gazelle Game Resort, mm. at Masai Mara Game Reserve, Narok County. Reporting was on. 30th August from 8 up to 5. We have allocated you a tourism service and park access license number as per the new government. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Since we no longer conduct interview, as best the interview is to see you work. Guys, it gets interesting. Listen to this. You will be on a probation on the first two months of your employment. During these two months, you will work at different stations every week within the department you applied at a reduced net salary of 28,000. I mean, was, I, I was like, ah, that's not bad. 28,000. Ah, nankimal sa probation na rode kipata 32,000. Faith, this is it. <laughs> After the two months, you get posted permanently with improved pay as your job description. Yeah, I mean, two months was nothing. Other benefits are to be communicated to you upon arrival on signing the contract. Accommodation and food is provided as an individual. No spouse, no children. I mean, faith ni nani, sina mtoto, sina spouse, ni mimi, ni mimi, ni mimi, ni mimi, Wait for the official direction from our official application communication lines to kapewa up my number. Keep pro teach on what to do concerning recommendations and directions. <laughs> Please not blah 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 blah. Listen to all that. It was just too good to be true. And who was I? I couldn't even figure it out because I was so desperate at the moment, guys. So the interesting part begins after now this message. We are texted and told that we have to send um, money for, what is it called? What is it called, guys? <laughs> food handler certificate. And we were told that the food handler certificate went for 2,475 shillings. I mean, I'll for me too. Actually, I called the guy and told him, uh, hi, um, I have a food handler certificate. I can answer from which county? I told him Busia. He was like, no, the food handler has to be from the county where you're working from. That's why you need another one. And you're going to be given when you arrive. So you have to send the money. Mimi ni nani? Chap, 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 chap. Kwanza my mama kaniambe, tuma five bob tuni nienda wapi. 
kutuma hiyo five bob ah sika kuja maragazela resort tukasema this is it mama acha kuwa na wasiwasi mungu amejibu maombi tukatuma 200 2475 shillings ikaenda huh guys now after imeenda nimeshalipa nikaambia confirmed report on the 30th of august this is in 2021 at masaimara at masaimara sere kanani gate carry your personal belongings signed appointment letter copies of school papers id hey 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 guys so this is what i did this is how i prepared myself we also told to come with black shoes yeah so i told you from the beginning i was working at a supermarket here mungu mejibu maombi yangu amenipatia kazi na rock county at this prestigious resort guys if you go and search Uh, Maragazela Resort the first thing would be like the thing is a scam when you search on it and i'm telling you the pictures that were there siko naamini ni mimi nenda kuishi huko food accommodation provided 32000 at my age was that not god now kuna place unafanya kazi it was i'm telling you the pictures are so beautiful and i'm asking myself is the pictures because are happy relax this is what a girl did first we have to thank god right So I broke this to my family. I just shared it with my mom. The rest of the family had not known. So, I now went home one day evening after supper, nikakalisha kamkutano na nikamwambia, "Ah, hello guys. Um, Mungu amenionekania blah 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 blah. I told them everything. We were so excited. We prayed." My mom told me, "Ah, you know what? This is God's doing. You're destined for greatness." Amen, amen. Ah, the next thing was to do it was to now resign where i was working faithy osho no yo mimi so one day evening you know i was working in a supermarket so every day evening we have to go to assembly told how the day was and also told any information about tomorrow or if there's any announcement so one evening parade after job jioni mimi ndo yo manager akasema asante ni kwa skele kwa kufanya kazi vizuri ni nini ah kuna mtu ako na jambo Faithy ako na jambo So nkaenda hapo hapo mbele Nikaambia habari yenu mko mko aje na jo mnashangaa leo naongea and I was so relaxed because I didn't want to feel boastful or to feel like because leo like stuck ko onesha there I'm so excited nimepata kazi na rock Masai Mara Mara Gazel So I was trying to also be humble guys. So I went there I was like, "Hi guys, um it's been amazing working with you guys and um I've just decided to share this with you and tell you that God has opened doors with me and then nimefanikiwa, nimepata kazi mara gazela Naro County and I'll be leaving you on this and this debt. Ah uh, kama kuna mtu nimekosea, I would love to say sorry. Now it's been nice working with you guys. Nikienda huko when I see something that can fit someone. Si nikusaidia na maisha ni kushikilia na mikono, si ndio? So kama kuna mtu anataka kuchukua namba yangu, take my number we we'll be communicating ni nini ni nini ni nini asanteni. Mimi ndio huyo. Nimeambia staff kwa he, kwa heri. <laughs> ah. Let's continue. That was the first step I did. The second step I did, I went to my bishop, bishop wangu mnyamelea from Sunday school. Mm. I went to his office. Actually, you know, bishop wetu you have to book an appointment. Mm. So nika book appointment. Actually, bishop wetu alikuwa may travel. So nilienda kwa secretary, nikamwambia ati sasa mimi na travel on Monday. Akaniambia bishop atarudi na atarudi jioni but before I rudi kwa nyumba, nitakupigia simu haraka haraka ukuje. Ah, you see ko secretary can be hey bishop ameingia kuja chap 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 mimi ndo huyo teke teke paka kwa bishop nikafika nikamwambia um uh, i want you to pray with me because god has opened a door for me nimepata kazi in narok county and i just want the blessings of the lord to be with me his favor his grace in ifuate when i go there i get the best surrounding i get the best working environment the best staff the best uh managers you know i just want his favor to be upon me ah and and the bishop said you know this is actually a very important step that you've taken and for that you're a blessed daughter of the most high you know and we prayed there with the bishop we prayed we prayed we prayed for the journey masses we prayed for oh we prayed guys <laughs> tick step 2 done step 3 walisema tuna ngani viatu za black you know nice dolly shoes black mimi ndo huyo tuko busia nikavuka mpaka mpaka Nairobi nikavuka mpaka mpaka Uganda mpaka mpaka Uganda 
Nikaenda katafuta dolly shoes. I bought a new suitcase because you know, mm, I wanted to na najua nilibaitu ka suitcase kadogo because alikuwa amesema to see na mango mingi we're going to be provided there uko uniform. So all I just needed ni my night dress kidogo kidogo at a bed sheets to cut my body to pay was just carry the duvet na viatu zangu shopping done. Now what else did I do? Nikaenda kwa salonist wangu nikamwambia unajua nimepata job i place flani na flani nataka mtafutie style yenyewe za shoe style yenyewe za shoe kwa hoteli unaona ni kwa hoteli sitaki pia vitu ndefu nini nini you know so tuka google style nikashuka nywele makucha tukatengeneza fine short and clear i'm telling you guys i was set 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 oh it gets interesting guys i went to my favorite aunt kamwambia auntie you know Najua such a step mimi siwezi fanya kama sija kuambia Mungu amemsaidia hivi na hivi na hivi na hivi akaniambia ah umekuwa msana mzuri na si tunakuachilia Mungu akuongoze ni nini 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 <laughs> I think I was now done with everything just waiting to go actually I siku report job did I report to job siku report kazi guys So siku nyesi forgive me So siku nyesi ja report kazi siku nyesi tunafaa kuenda that evening guys we get a, a message tukiambiwa that um kindly note that due to the ongoing renovations the reporting date has been postponed to 15th September and not 30th Monday please be patient Mara Gazelle Resort sasa tukaanza kuambiana akijamani nini 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 ni what's going on nini nini ah mama kaniambia Hawa watu ni wazuri. Wangekuwa watu wa kwa kona ama wa kuibia, hawangewaambia. Wangeacha muende. So these are good people when you muambie mapema msifunge safari ikue ni nini? Ikue ni unafika huko hivyo na wajamalizana na vitu, si ndio? Ah, tukasema wamesema mpaka lead from 30th to 15th August, 15th September. I'm telling it was a long long stay. I asked myself, am I going back to work? Nikingoja ama ni relax tu nyumbani nikingoja isiku. Ah, man told me wewe rudi kazi ufanye kazi. Eh, na sijawaambia venye hiyo siku. Bebe I was to be taken by my aunt, by my other uncle, by my two parents. Hadi my aunt alikuwa ametupatia land cruiser yake because we just wanted to go in style. Yaani nilikuwa napelekwa ni kama napelekwa form 1. Unaona? Hmm? With family and lots of love. It's a new environment, a new county you get. So, nikarudi kazi. Ah. I didn't feel okay because it was like I was done with this place nishawaambia bye job watu na niona eh kwani ndege yako imechelewa nini because ulikuwa shajo ah from Monday hatutakuwa na fee but I said you know what acha nivumilie mpaka hiyo 15th so tell me why on this certain day i remember it was two days too so it was on the 13th nime relax kwa ofisi my my friend calls me hey sasa fei i'm good kwa jeng kwa ati ule sema umepata kazi wapi i mean he really told almost everyone nikamwambia mara gazela mbona akaniambia <clears throat> ingia twitter nikamwambia siko twitter akanitumia link guys nikaingia twitter nika click your link yake nikaenda nikakuta how the thing is a scam blah 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 bullshit all those things all those things tell me what happened to me So this is what it was saying actually. And the thing is a scam and then I asked myself, "Kwani, e website and everything actually they created a website. I'm telling you the genius people out here. Millions of millions of Kenyans were conned. Those guys were enriched. Hmm? They created a till number, they created a website and furthermore, it is said a Google reverse image search shows that the accommodation photos was lifted from Lion Sands River Lodge at the Sabi Sands Game Reserve in South Africa. So there is no such hotel in Kenya, Narok County. Rather, all those pictures were lifted from amazing resorts in South Africa. It hit me. I'm telling you guys and I was at work, I just started crying. Then I started seeing how I don't know or commissioner wa Narok County an address akisema sijui nini nini nini. I felt like my my mind was literally going out of my head. You guys. If I tell you it took me two years from 2021 to be able to talk about this right now, it didn't really go well with me. I was so much affected with it. I felt like where am I going to run to? I had gone to the bishop, to the saloon, kila mtu anajua, nimeshaambia watu bye kwa church. Yaani hadi apaka hesabu ya mafuta ya Land Cruiser ilikuwa imeshapigwa venye. Yaani it was so devastating guys I would say. 
I would say. That's why when they say my life is like a movie, <laughs> it is, guys. So that's what I wanted to share with you. And this is what I would say when I finalize. Uh, the period when you're looking for a job, I'm telling you there comes many, many temptations. I would ask you to really, really pray for the spirit of discernment, to know what is right, to know where you should invest your energy at and where you should not invest your energy at. Because let me tell you, in that period of desperation, you can literally do anything and it can be too good your mind would be so shattered that you can't see any red flags you can't even figure out and say like ah this is too good to be true because you're like i want a job and this is the way to getting a job mm -mm. guys let's pause a minute even when you get that application even when you get that confirmation letter pause a minute pray about it ask god to give you the spirit of discernment to know what is the right step to take okay guys so guys i'm back with stories i'm back with stories and i cannot wait to share because i have so so many stories to give to you guys i hope that has been amazing i hope you've learned something from it and also another thing when you get this amazing news please keep it to yourself and the closest people around you so that when things don't turn out the way you had planned it won't really affect you because me it affected me i had to stay where i was working like forever until you really confirm this is it keep it to yourself i know it's so hard because the news is too good you want to explode it out there with people but keep it to yourself you can share with the closest people just one confident or two is enough but unless unless you finally be into the position that you've prayed for you've looked for no me pata keep it to yourself sour, sour. i hope that has come with an amazing lesson guys and i'm glad i've been able to do this so till next time please don't forget to subscribe thank you for staying till the end bye bye adios Mwah.